Uh, anyway, I was asked to present this uh, after presenting it to the Rotary Club. Uh, tell you a few things we've got going on in Wellington uh, Police Department, and then the uh, the traffic studies we've done. The crime stats, uh, pretty much self-explanatory. We're down a total of 13 percent in crime since 2006. We're down 9 percent since last year. Uh, in this economy and in today's society, I think that's uh, pretty good. Uh, considering the uh, the crime rate goes up and the economy goes down, uh, total arrest we're up as you can see. Uh, in 2006, there was 1,274 adult arrest, and that number is 1518 for 2010. And it appears it's probably going to be a little bit higher than that in 2011. So, uh, good. Th the good part is the juvenile arrests are down uh, significantly. So. Uh, those numbers look good, and any time you can be uh, have a decrease in crime, it's it's good. Uh, that just gives you the graph of, of where the crime is, and you can see it's on a steadily uh, on a steady decline uh, as the arrests are going up, the crime is going down. Okay. Uh, well, how we've done that, we work with University of Memphis uh, on map uh, crime to map crime trends, crime trends. Uh, we uh, have a real-time data on the crimes that are occurring and what that does it allows us to uh, put the officers where the crimes are occurring. Uh, heretofore we, uh, we had month-old in, uh, information and we were trying to put officers into an area that happened a month ago. This gives us real-time information so that we know when the crimes are occurring, where they're occurring and we can put the officers there. Uh, we've also implemented a paperless reporting system. We're the top 5% across the state of Tennessee in the paperless reporting. Uh, as a matter of fact, we've got other departments from the state calling us, asking us how we do things. In the last two weeks, three weeks, we've had Memphis, as big as they are, to call us, ask us how we're doing things here. So it's, uh, it's getting out across the state, uh, and, and the officers are doing a great job. We've added the license plate reading equipment to assist in locating warning persons. Uh, it's doing the job it's supposed to do. We've had a, a couple problems with the vehicle, but I think we've got those problems worked out. Okay. This is the traffic part of it, the crash data. As you can see, uh, for 2009 and 2010, uh, 2010 was up slightly, pretty much across the board, or in some cases, uh, very slightly uh, across the board uh, from 2009. Okay. Uh, what we did is we added the equipment to patrol the comba uh, and combat the traffic offenses. We got uh, the officers are very motivated to uh, to take care of the traffic problems. We've implemented a photo enforcement campaign, i.e. the red light cameras and the speed man, and then we also participate in the Governor's Highway Safety Office traffic campaigns. This is the speed van data uh, <coughs> since we implemented it in August of 10. Uh, that was, uh, as you can see, it spiked in October and has been on a steady decrease ever since. Ever since. What that tells us is the van is slowing people down. We still get them at 10 miles an hour over the speed limit, uh, but we're slowing people down, and if we slow them down, the traffic crashes will become less. Okay. Uh, this is uh, December 10, uh, and on in for the first uh, three months of uh, January, uh, uh, 2011. As you can see, we started off uh, January of 2011. We, uh, there were 6,489 uh, total citations. We sent out 2,800 for collection. Uh, it's been on a steady decrease ever since. Our goal is to send none out. If we send none out, that means nobody's running red lights. And that's what we're shooting for. It's a steady decline, and hopefully it'll be declined by July. It'll be half of what it is now. And all studies indicate that that usually is what happens. Okay. Uh, this is the 2010-2011. Uh, you got to remember we only started the program in 2011, basically. So these numbers, uh, 
as you can see, 2010 and 2011, uh, the numbers are going down in 2011. And uh, uh, that's what we're, we're asking for. The total crashes have been, just for the first two months, have been decreased by uh, 7%. Uh, crashes with injury has gone up somewhat. Uh, the crashes with fatalities, we've had no fatalities this year. Uh, property damage is down 19%. Total injuries is up 3%. Uh, DUI arrests are up 30%. And the alcohol and drug crashes are up 80%. For the month of March, I, I don't know what it is about the month of March, but our numbers for DUI was astronomically high. Uh, we, we had a whole lot of drunks out there driving in the month of March. And the officers did their job, they were out there and uh, they were locking them up. Uh, DUI arrests are up 30%. And DUI crashes again are up 80%. Uh, it's, you know, uh, it, it's hard to, and most of the crashes are not occurring at the, at the intersections. Uh, they're in the middle of the streets, middle of blocks, running off roadways, things of that nature. Uh, okay. The crash data for Highway 51 and Babe Howard uh, is down 100%. Uh, for the first three months, it's there, uh, it's, we've only had one traffic crash there. Uh, front to rear was one traffic crash, and uh, it was kind of a side swipe. So, and I think we've got a picture of that to show you, uh, video of that in just a second. Okay. Navy Road, it's down uh, 28 percent, 29%. Uh, rear end crashes are up just a little bit, but uh, you're only talking about one. And the uh, side swipe and uh, same direction is, is up a little bit. And that chief, those rear end crashes weren't attributed to the red lights. No, we no, we have. That. As far as I know, we've only had one or two. One or two that may have, where they may have slammed on the brakes, uh, and one of those I think was DUI. So uh, it was very negligible. The majority of the ones that I researched, Mayor, the vehicle was already stopped, according to the officer and the witnesses, and then the impact. I want y'all to be sure to clarify. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, most of the cases, they're already completely stopped, then some two, three seconds later, somebody runs into the back of them. All right, this is Highway 51 and Navy Road again. Uh, crashes are down 29% at that. Easily and Shelby, uh, total crashes are the same. Uh, Pretty much everything is, is equal there, and we need to check on that. That's a busy intersection there. And then last is Cuba Millington, and that is down significantly, 50% uh, on both of them, with just uh, two crashes, or I'm sorry, one crash at that location. So, uh, you know, it's, it's working, in my opinion, it's working. If it saves one life, it's worth it. The crashes are down. I think over, over a year, you're going to see significant crash reduction. Uh, it, for the first two, three months, uh, it's been reduced. But like I said, it was down 40% for January and February. March, our DUIs went sky high, and that drove our numbers in March. So uh, we believe that was an anomaly, and, and it will go continue to go down. And uh, for alcohol-related arrests, again, for the first quarter, January, February, March, uh, we had 19 arrests uh, in 2010. That's 27 arrests for 2011. And then we had eight crashes for 2011 versus two for 2010. So our DUIs are, are picking up. Uh, so hopefully if we can get some of these drunks off the road, uh, we'll all be safe. Okay. And you do have a video. We're going to show you some videos of some crashes. Uh, and these all occurred here in the city of Millington. Uh, so you may recognize some of the intersections. <laughs> 